Hey crew, welcome back to another short semi life spray painting tutorial. I wasn't going to do another one today, but I figured I'm here and I got an email. Uh, somebody was requesting how to create a 3D tree, which is a technique that I use on my little, well, uh, paintings that I sell for a little bit more, maybe paintings that I go to uh, galleries and put there. So, uh, yeah, definitely, it shouldn't take very long. What you're going to need is one of these. Now, you can get these at Walmart, or you can get regular caulk. All it is is caulk, guys. Um, the only difference between this and regular caulk is that you don't need a gun, the caulk gun. Uh, what you do is you cut the tip. Can you see it there? Uh, right there. You cut the tip, make a little hole, and then you push here to the side. That's it. By doing that, the caulk comes out, and then you're going to need something to manipulate the paint with. I use my little spray castle tool, right? Not an exacto knife, a tool. So, all right, I have some some scraps of poster board that I actually had from making those two paintings yesterday, that one and this one. So I'm just going to use one of these. And probably, uh, I don't know if I want to make a whole painting out of it, probably not. I'm thinking maybe just a tree or maybe a little bit of rocks or something. I, I don't know. We'll see where it comes up. But uh, that's what I'm going to use. And... If you guys are ready to begin, all I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of this caulk right here, put it on there. This is probably going to be like a three-step painting, I think, because or tutorial, because uh, I have to flip the camera the other way so that, I, so that I can see better. So I'll do that. I'll start putting down the caulk. I'll start shaping it. We'll wait for it to dry, and then we'll go in the back and paint it. All right, so if you guys are ready... Stay tuned, we'll go to uh, segment number two. Alright, see you guys in a few. Alright crew, so the tree is now dry. Well, very close, <laughs> very close. We waited a couple of hours and it's actually pretty dry to the touch. In other words, I'm not going to push it. I'm pretty sure that if I squeeze enough, it'll, yeah. But nonetheless, it's pretty dry. Nothing's sticking to me. Yeah. Alright, so... What we're going to do is we're going to use the spray castle funnel. There's actually a, a couple of ways of doing this. One way would be to actually spray this on, on the trees. But I found out that pouring it onto the tree is better. And it goes into all the little nooks and crevices. Look, we did a little knot right there. Let me show you what this tree looks like from the side. See, so it actually has a lot of texture. It sticks out quite a bit from the paper. All right. So let's start combining the paint. Remember what I told you? You want to spray until the brown comes out and not clear. So in this case, we're going to do some brown. Quite a bit of brown, it's a lot of tree to cover, a little bit more than that. Now this is going to be a little different right here because the knot I will always cover with just a spray. And you know what guys, this is to show you it's okay if you get paint on it, on the tree. You still want to get some paint on there because when we do the background, you're going to overlap, you know, whatever colors the, the sky layer is going to be. So if we're going to have, oh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's do a light source. Yesterday I said I wanted to put a light source about there somewhere. Yeah, we can still do that. I don't see why not. Maybe a little bit of blue. Oh, didn't follow my own advice. See the difference from there to that? Okay, that's why it's important to always, always shake your cans. Right now we're working on the back layer of this tree. Now you want to make sure you get around those um, those corners right there because sometimes when you spray this way, it'll cover this area but it'll leave a little white line. So you want to make sure you go around the tree very well. Now to create the effect that there's light, 
I'm going to use some white. Oh, the can is empty. Oh, right here. White. Regular cap. Color place. Walmart. Oh, guys, I don't know how many questions, how many times I get asked this question. Where do you get your paints from? Oh, man, you don't know how many times I just want to say, um, watch the videos, man. <laughs> the same question over and over. Walmart, you know. That's usually where I get them at. Okay, a little bit of blue right here. Now, I added the white so that it gives us the effect of light in the distance. Now, later on, we can come back and maybe turn that into a moon by getting close to the to the spot like this and just a quick spray and it'll create a perfect little round circle and it'll look like a moon. I don't know if that's where I want to go with it but so far that's where we're taking it. Okay let me add a little more blue here on the ground around the tree. Awesome. And then to give it more depth take the black and we'll go around the edges. Okay, while I do that, I'm going to need both hands. While I do that, remember we still have some brown and we're going to put some orange in here. I hate these fat caps. They always get plugged up. Okay, a little bit of yellow. Okay, and some black. Okay, so that's going to be our combination. Well, I have another black right over there. So we'll add a little bit of black. That's going to be our combination that we're going to use on this tree. All right, so stay tuned for the next segment. I guess it's going to be a little bit more than just three. <laughs> See you guys in a little bit. Hey, crew. Uh, welcome back. I don't know if this will be the last segment. Um, I don't know. Anyways, we'll see where it goes, right? So, so far, that's what I've done. So I used the spray castle funnel. Let me make sure there's no no ink in there. All right. Well, I call it ink, no spray. And basically, what I did here. Let's take a closer look. Added some brown. Right. I just poured it down, and you can tell here a little bit. It ran a little bit. And that's all right. So put some brown. Put some orange. You guys remember the mixture? It was uh, brown, orange, yellow, and a little bit of black. And then now, I'm going to go ahead and add some highlights to it. But first, let's add our light source. I like the idea earlier of having um, a moon. So, i going to pack this off of here a little bit. One more time. Okay. Good. And then you just make it glow. All right. So, what we're going to do now is... Maybe even add some bushes here in the background. I know I said I wasn't going to make it into a painting, but, you know, as it starts to take shape, one is inclined to kind of go along with it. So we'll see how it goes. Another awesome little feature here of adding the light and then spraying it is, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's actually a little bit of white that landed on it. Uh, let me see. Let me see if you guys can, can see it there. Maybe not so good. I can see it very clearly where I'm at. But that's good. That's natural highlights used with the same spray. So, I mean, it doesn't get more realistic than that. As the light is coming off, you have, let's see, I can see it pretty clearly, uh, plenty of white here hitting the tree, which, will, which makes pretty good highlights. Now, if I was to make this into a bigger painting, well, I would have had a couple other trees, uh, perhaps some more rocks. But, you know what? Let's add some plant life to this. Maybe basic technique. You guys remember that? A little bit of black here. A little sea sponge. Big advocate of the sea sponge. I know I've had a couple friends tell me, well, you know, we've seen people do it with socks and stuff. Yeah, whatever works, guys. I like the sea sponge. It's absorbent, but at the same time, you can keep a lot of paint on there. More than a sock. Any day, guaranteed. So, I like to use the sea sponge. And you know what? It's got so many uses. Look at that. Grass technique, guys. A quick little strokes. See? Coming out, huh? All right. 
Here, I'll, I'll do a little. That's how I make my grass. Oopsie daisy. Just like that. I'll add some more over here. Now I'm going to show you a nifty little trick that I, I like to use. Uh, maybe I shouldn't call it a trick. It's a nice little technique. Uh, I'll use, you know what, I'll use some orange for the sake of showing you guys so that it shows clearer on this video. Okay, you get a little bit of sea sponge. Just like that. Make sure you tap it in there. Okay, that's pretty good. Now you see this grass? You can see all the little strands. What you do is you come in and you add a little bit of highlight on it. And it looks like little flowers. See that? Oh, having a little hard time. I think there's a, a little bit of a spray paint maybe on the lens. But let's zoom out. So anyways, that's how you can create plant life. Flowers. Um, I'm going to work on this a little bit more. Maybe just finish this bottom part. But let's take a look at some of our details on this tree. And I don't consider I'm quite done with it yet. There's still quite a little bit of things I want to do to it. Like work on some of these highlights. I know we have the, the shining of the moon coming on. And I like it. But I think I might want to add some more highlights to it. And the way I'm going to do that, it's a little bit of orange and a little bit of yellow. Mix the two together. Yeah, kind of like I did here. It's a little bit of sea sponge. I'm not going to do it yet because I just poured the paint on here, so it's still a little wet. But once it's dry, I'm going to tap in here and just very lightly touch certain areas of the tree. And the same texture of it is going to make it look like the light's hitting it. Yeah, so it'll be a very texturized tree. Well, I'll post the finished product when I'm done with it. So, there you go. There's one more video coming along. I really didn't think it was going to be that much or that many, but <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this painting with me in the Same My Life tutorial Facebook special. I don't know what to call it. All right, so let me work on this for a little bit more, and then I'll post the finished product in a few minutes. All right. Talk to you guys in a little bit. Let's take another look. All right, crew. And that there is the finished product. Let's see if you guys can. I know the light's been it's reflecting, but we added some highlights, some minor branches up above. You know, another good thing to add to this, um, I just I couldn't find it at the moment. It's this little foliage that you use on model trains. And what I would have done is I would have painted it dark green by mixing black. And the foliage was already green, so I would have uh, used my little spray can adhesive, put it throughout, throughout the tree so that it really stands out. And that was the idea, guys. I actually looked for it and I couldn't find it anywhere. But, I mean, where to begin, right? I mean, I got a bike there, uh, another bike there. I, I have a lot of places. I mean, I've got an underground um plays here where i store a lot of stuff too so anyways i'll take a look around i'll look for it but uh that's where i wanted to go um add some 3d foliage coming around here maybe uh some overlapping the tree uh, i also have this really fine it's really fine i, I really don't know what it is but it, it makes the you also use it for model trains and you put it on the ground and it looks like grass so you can throw it you know, throw a little bit of that throughout here just to give it a more more realistic, more 3D stuff uh, feel to it. I uh, went ahead and I added some, oh, let me use this one, I added some trees here in the back, uh, little pine trees, and I used a little sea sponge to do that. Tapped into a little bit of green and black. Uh, you you See, it's always good to practice, guys, those lines. I didn't want to mess up my painting by putting too much paint, so what I do is I put a little bit of paint and I practice to see how you know how wide how much paint is coming out then I know exactly how much pressure to apply to the painting um, anyways a little bit of green and black right there tap 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 come in with your sea sponge the very tip 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 
and then you start using the broader part and as you do that you start coming kind of zigzagging all the way till you get to the very bottom do the same here tap 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 zig 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 zag uh, little plants here behind the tree and added some rocks bunch of grass technique so anyways there it is folks I hope you guys have enjoyed today's tutorial it's actually heavy it's actually quite heavy I'll leave it like that just so it finishes drawing but there it is guys hope you guys have enjoyed it and until next time keep those hands shaking bye